Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Orton effect. Believe it or not, it was made famous by a guy called Michael Orton sometime in the 80s. I don't know exactly what part in the 80s, but I know it was in the 80s. To get started, I will open the image what I've got from Pixel Bait. So I'll go File and come down to the White Rhino. If you want to try this out for yourself, I will put the link to download this image in the description i'm just gonna unlock this and there's two ways you can do it you can either duplicate this layer twice or we can skip both them layers and do it in the way that i'm gonna show you but if you do want to try it with the two layers just do the exact same as what i'm doing right now but you will have to clip each one of these effects to each of the layers if you decide to go that way First off, we need to add an adjustment and we need to go to brightness and contrast. With this, we don't have to do anything to it yet except turn the blend mode to screen. So if we come down to the bottom on blend modes and just click on screen and then close it off. Now we need to do one more effect and go to layer, new live filter layer and go Gaussian blur. But what you'll see is We'll close it off for a second and it's clipped it to the brightness and contrast. For us to do this effect, we can't have it clipped to that layer. So if you drag it up and just drop it above it and then double click on it again, we'll get back to where we were. And all we need to do with this is put the radius right up to about 35%. And we need to make sure we've got preserve alpha ticked. So we keep all of our side parts around the edges and the blend mode we need to turn this to multiply now that do not look great yet but now we need to come back down to the brightness and contrast and then we can change it brightness down a bit and put the contrast up I'll go about 45% with the contrast and just close that off. Then on the Gaussian blur, it's affecting the dark areas, the shadows too much. So what we need to come to is the little cog in the layers panel and it'll get us our blend modes. And all we need to do is drop the right, left side, sorry, right down. So we so it takes the effect out of the shadow so it blends it from the shadows to, to the highlights we'll do that on both sides and turn off the linear and that's affected it too much so what I'm going to do is add a little point it works just as curves and drag it up on both of them so it maps it a bit better and then once you've got that just close off the blend modes and if you hold shift and select both layers and then go to control G to group them all and all we need to do because right now it's still too strong we just need to fetch the opacity down to where you think it looks best I'm gonna stop on 65% and then just click off it and that's all it is for on the Orton effect so to have a look at what we've done, we'll just close off the group. That's what it was. And that's what it is now. And that's it. And that's it for this one. If it's helped you and you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.